Hello, Meisters. You thought it was over, but it was me, the epilogue, all along. You heard the epilogue. It's the end, Meisters. Welcome back to the final bit of 999. Are you okay? Oh, come on. This is nothing. Really? Yeah. You don't look okay. It was just before the end of elementary school. Jumpy and I were sitting next to each other on a small hill, looking down at the town as the sun slowly set. How does it look then? He was, ha er, he was half serious and half joking. I thought about it for a minute first. <laughs> Holy shit! He got beat up pretty bad by something. Um, well, let's see. It looks like you kissed a toad and got warts, but they just kept growing and growing. <laughs> what does it even matter? Shippei grinned. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. See, I told you you're not okay. You're too reckless. You can't beat five eighth graders, Jumpy. That's crazy. Yeah, but I couldn't just stand there. I mean, don't you think so? I had to do something. Look at the Nevada desert go past. For an SUV, this thing has a pretty smooth ride. Sure. It was nice of someone to leave it for us outside the building, keysing the ignition and gas in the tank. Almost like it was a present, you know? Anyway, we jumped in, and now here we are, screaming across the desert. Lotus is over there in the passenger seat. Snake and Seven Eye are all squeezed in the back seat here. I still can't believe we let her drive. Woohoo! This is so fun! This is so awesome! Driving is so great when there's nothing around! And there's no speed limit! Hey, hey, Clover! Watch those pumps, alright? This car jumps even a litter. I think I'm gonna get crushed to death. Hey, shut it! I can't help it if I'm big, alright? Suck it up! Why don't you drive seven? I'm a cop! I ain't gonna break the law. Oh, I see. He doesn't have an international driver's license. Yeah, but you could have sat in the passenger seat. Oh, hell no. There's no way I'm giving this seat up. And Clover? There's no need to slow down. The car Santa and Six are in should be somewhere down this road ahead of us. Yeah, I saw some fresh tire tracks going out. There's no doubt about it. Then we've got to hurry if you want to catch them, don't we? Sure thing! Oh shit! God damn it, she doesn't have to, not have to drive so fast. Man, I didn't even think a car like this could go this fast. I'm sure throwing up a lot of dust. It was a cold couple, or it was a couple hours after we'd run into the junior high students. They'd been hiding in the bushes on the back of one of the hills, drenching a kitten. What the fuck? Drenching a kitten in gasoline. The moment we saw what they were doing, Jumpy ran up to them, furious. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Then he jumped on them. He quickly scooped up the kitten and tossed it to me. I caught it and ran for the police station as fast as I could. Help me, officer, please. You have to come with me. The policeman and I headed back to the hill. All we found was Jumpy sprawled on the ground with a face covered in big, swelling lumps. You couldn't run away after you threw the kitty to me, I asked him. He stuck his tongue out through the hole in his mouth where a tooth had fallen out. Yeah, I guess I coulda. Then why didn't you? I didn't want to. I wanted to beat him up, beat him up real good. Because of what they were doing to the kitty? Or because of what they were doing to the kitty? Yeah, that too, but I think they were the ones behind those murders. Our first semester, remember? Oh, you mean the bunnies. Yeah, the bunnies. He plucked some grass from the ground and tossed it into the wind. They asked me what elementary school I was from, so I told them. Then they said they'd do the same thing to you that they did to the rabbit. I couldn't forgive them for that. So, I... Got into a full-on fist fight. Hey, there's still some stuff I don't get. 
course, they probably don't know any more than I do. Like Ace! Well, I guess I should say Gentaro Hongo. Why did he create the Nonary Project? Anybody? Any ideas? Heh! Why don't you ask him yourself? Well, yes, uh, I guess I could. He's still in the truck, I assume. Yeah, he is. Still tied up. I'm assuming with his big mouth tape shut. We might have a little chat with the old man. His eyes just look empty, no emotion. He looks like he's just given up. Whatever even cares what happens to him. Anymore. Hey, were you listening to us? Yeah, go ahead and try to pretend you weren't, you old bastard. Let's get that tape off your mouth. Come on, I know you were. Answer me. You could at least look at me when you talk, man. I... I only wanted to see the faces. Human faces. I thought... I thought if I could gain the ability to cr access the morphic field set, then perhaps I could see the faces. By peering into people's mind, you could understand how they were processing the expressions of others. That's it? Yes, if you were to put it simply. But if you're looking for a more philosophical answer, I can supply that as well. You see the human collective consciousness. I think that's enough out of you, pal. Time for the tape to go back on. So it's through just so you could see faces. Alright, so what's your second question? You said there were some things you didn't get, didn't you? Well, somebody's a little nosy. Well, my next question doesn't really have anything to do with you two. This is for you, Seven. It's about the whole Alice thing. What's the deal with that? Well, see, nine years ago, after I escaped from the Gigantic, I kept going after Hongo on my own, hoping I'd catch up with him when he finally slipped up. During the course of my investigations, I learned a lot about the Gigantic. I also found out about Cordain and Alice. And not really answering my question, was there actually a girl who wouldn't melt at room temperature? Mm -hmm. Sounds like Hongo has something to say. All right, fine, I'll let you talk, but you gotta behave. What? Alice doesn't exist. Nine years ago, I found Alice's coffin behind the library on the bottom deck. There was nothing in it but the root of a particular plant. My research determined that it was a member of the genus Mandragora, Mandragora of the family Solansae. I was able to extract a peculiar alkaloid from it. I use that extract to create Sapori. Sapori. Yes, I think that's how it's said. Its creation was a tremendous boon to my firm and regrew rapidly. Shit, this is gonna go on forever. Tape's going back on, Hongo. The rest of my questions can wait a bit. For now, I think I'll just enjoy the ride. Here, this is for you. What is this? This is the For You doll. His name is J Junpei. Junpei pulled something out of his pocket and shoved his arm towards me. His hand was a doll made of yarn small enough to fit in my palm. Junpei, are you sure it's a For You doll? Huh? Yeah, the lady at the shop said so. Th that means it's for you, right? I, um... Are you sure it's not a voodoo doll? <laughs> what? That's... Oh man, oh man. <laughs> well, it sure looks like a voodoo doll. I mean, you do know what a voodoo doll is used for, right? Y yeah. I guess calling it Junpei isn't a very good idea then. given this to me anyways. It seems really sudden. Um, well, you know, uh, how after June we aren't gonna get to see each other too much? I mean, we're gonna be in different schools and I just thought, uh, you know, um... Oh, okay, well, how about we call it June then? Okay. S so I wanted to give this to you. You sound like some sort of tribal chief in a bad movie. Yes, I head of tribe. This dull traditional charm of tribe. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So I'll, I give this. It's me. So we always together. Oh, Jumpy. If something bad, then hold and pray. I go wherever you go. So here, take. I reached my hand out and picked up the doll gently. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jumpy. Before I knew it, I was crying. She streamed on my face and I fell onto... and fell onto June's tiny yarn body. Oh, Jumpy, I'll never forget you. I promise. Jumpy looked straight into my eyes and just said five words. I'll never forget you either. The sky was a beautiful crimson red as it melted down towards the horizon. The last golden rays of sunlight stretched out across the city and painted themselves across the hills. We sat bathed in the warm light of the evening, just the two of us, leaning gently against one another, shoulder to shoulder. The sun set and we still didn't leave. We watched in silence as the darkness deepened, and one by one the lights of the town began to flicker on. There's still one thing I don't get. To be honest, it's the biggest mystery as far as I'm concerned. The only one that's really important. It has to do with June and Akane. Nine years ago, she died in the incinerator in the Gigantic. Is she still alive now as June, but how? Was it because I trapped into the morphic field set and saved her nine years ago? Hmm. Alright, so that makes some kind of insane sense. If I did that, then... How do I make sense of what Seven remembers? His name makes sense. He's blind. He couldn't have seen her body anyways. But Seven, he said he was sure he saw it. Does that mean there's some kind of historical discrepancy? Or wait, maybe that's not it at all. There's one logical other, other logical explanation. What, you told me the truth, Seven? He looks satisfied. No, no way. He couldn't. Hey, look, over there! There's somebody next to the road! Huh? What? Hmm. <laughs> oh no! That looks like a stereotypical Egyptian priestess! The burning gaze of Nevada's sun pounded down on her head. The desert around her rippled with heat. Standing there on this shimmering plain was a woman, her arm out and her thumb up. I swear to God, that's all ice, and we get cursed and die anyways after all that. I'm gonna be pretty salty. That's a mystery slash murder novel for ya. Adding mysteries till the end. I really hope that isn't all ice, though. That would really suck. Curses and all. It Anyhow, Meisters, I think that was a good ending. Considering my jimmies are not rustled, my heart's skipping a beat from that little bit of cuteness of June at the end there. And she's not dead. All in all, I'm pretty happy. Now, friends and Meisters, we will be playing the second game in the 999 series. However, we're going to be taking a break in between, as I have a date that was rescheduled from last Valentine's Day by an angry father named Atlas. Now that we finally have Atlas's blessing, Persona 5 will be taking up the majority of my time for the next little while. So, suffice to say, with the Danganronpa I have to finish up and Persona 5, I probably won't have time in between to record more 999. That's why I think it's best to take a break for now. Anyhow, Meisters, if you did enjoy the video, as always, do leave a like to show your support. If you enjoyed what you saw here and would like to see more Shinigami shenanigans, do ensure to subscribe to the channel and join the Academy for more videos just like this one in the future. Peace out, Meisters, and see you on the next project. <laughs>